Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was going to do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two-division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tempe, Arizona, USA, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. He gets in the octagon tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got it to shoot on those things. 
just missed with the left there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big roundhouse now, just misses. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Powerful leg kick land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. McGregor going for the head kick. No dice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice head kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, Superman punch is good. Big kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well done to block that powerful kick to the box. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Just over two minutes to go. He lands a big knee to the body. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Oh, there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, that's a good strike there by Connor. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Certainly found the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 20 seconds to go in round one. 15 seconds to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And 
at some point, this is going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just out of range with that right hook. Visibly limping here. single-collar dive. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice strike landed there by McGregor. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he lands the front kick there, not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to land that strike, and as you saw with Anderson, he took it up to the chin, because normally it goes to the body. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with the strike, he fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make his impact on the judges' mind. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And now he's got that tie clinch. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And there comes the separation now. That was a thudding leg kick. Right, 20 seconds left to go in round two. Out of range with that one. Oh, big head kick. 10 seconds. Single collar tie now. Ooh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. 
better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And they separate. Liver kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He's going after the head. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Ooh, he's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big head kick lands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good punch. Again, back into this position. That punch is good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Trying to double up on that jab. Ooh, big shot land. Big leg kick land. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Back and forth we go here. Came from inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, single collar tie here. Head kick. Ooh, big shot to the body. How about that shin? All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Just unable to quite find that range. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. 
McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Right hand upstairs. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Tags him with that uppercut. 15 seconds. Limp there, his leg hurting for certain. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. McGregor's kick locked. And that's gonna do it! He got him! What a fight! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious the celebration is on over there in the corner and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt and he found the follow-up shots that allowed